Hey y'all, and aloha from the big island of Hawaii. And today I'm going to show you the two tiny off-grid cottages that I have for rent here on my property. He being tiny and off-grid. So I'm going to show you the small cabin first here. Like I said, completely off-grid, and it's pretty much designed for one person. There's enough power and enough water for one person to live comfortably. There's a uh, two-burner propane stove. There'll be a few pots and pans and dishes. Nice little place to enjoy your coffee in the morning. There is a TV and DVD player and there'll be some DVDs for you to watch if you so desire and in here is turn the light on the sleeping room there's a little place for your shelf for all your stuff there's a double size futon with some blankets and sheets this is drinking water we don't drink the water catchment we drink well water um, there's a CD player with some CDs, <laughs> old school, and the solar system is very small and basic. Like I said, there's enough power and enough water for one person. You can charge up all your devices via USB, or there's an inverter here that powers normal small appliances. If you want to use a blender, a coffee, dr uh, coffee grinder, things like that, you know, and that powers the TV. And so from here, we go, let's turn a light on, outside to where you can see the system is. As you can see, it's a very small water catchment system. That's the full capacity of your water. It's about 275 gallons. It's completely full now. <clears throat> it manages to stay mostly full with the amount of rainfall we get and there is only one battery that's the battery that powers the water pump and all of your um, electricity and lights and it's enough it actually is enough over here we've got your sink you'll have regular water only cold no hot through the sink there and uh, yeah well, no hot and um, there's a great hot shower very nice hot shower right there and this is just really a urinal um, I'll show you the toilet. That's just for like late night or you know, whatever. There's uh, like I said hot shower propane powered on demand hot water it works great and this cabin Does not have a um, Refrigerator I will supply a cooler a brand new cooler and you can get ice down the street I live two blocks from the store so this cabin I'm asking 400 a month for long term. I'm hoping to get someone, you know, one month minimum, but six to 12 months is what I'm hoping for. But let's talk about it. If you're the right person, we'll work it out. So again, 400 a month, no refrigerator, but there is enough power and enough water for one person to live comfortably if they're used to that kind of, of, of arrangement system. There's a nice picnic table and place to hang out. Um, there's a nice barbecue grill there for you to use and a super nice chill spot. Secured parking area right here. There's the main road and with the gate that we close. And up here is where the toilet is for this small cabin. We call this the Shanti Shack. So there's a small toilet here. And what you do is you take that bucket, you dump it into the back of the tank to flush, and you fill the bucket up from the rain catch right here. It seems to work just fine. But again, this is <clears throat> not for, <clears throat> excuse me, just anybody. And there's a nice place to go walking around. I don't want to waste too much time showing the yard, but there's a beautiful yard. You have a beautiful place to hang out in. So this is the first cabin that I'm offering for rent to the right person. So contact me and let's talk about it. If that might work for you, 
and then I'll show you the other cabin up here. This is the cabin I'm currently living in. And this cabin is the same, a very small, and I'll show you quick, a very small power and water system. There's just a small battery bank, a couple of cubes for water. Back here, I said right now you can see it's completely full. So there is enough water and power. And down there is the pump and the pressure tank, batteries, propane for your cooker, all very, very basic. This cabin, let's go inside. I said is where I'm living now. This cabin comes with a small 12 volt cooler that runs great. It's like a refrigerator, it runs just like a refrigerator. It's fantastic and uses very little power. Right now we're, you know, early in the morning and already we're up in charge and running. So this has a small two burner propane stove with a small oven, a sink, of course. No hot water in the sink again, but pressurized cold water. Here's the view from the kitchen. So you got a nice little place here. There'll be pots and pans. Um, you outside you can see it's quite lovely so this place I'm asking 700 a month for it's a little place to sit enjoy the morning Sun and your coffee same thing there's a water cooler here we don't drink the rain catch we go and we get spring water and the sleeping area over here small there's a full-size mattress and the shower for this cabin same thing, it's got an on-demand propane, very nice hot shower. It's all super basic. Again, it's not for anyone, but I'm not looking for just anyone. I'm looking for that right person. And I'll show you where the toilet is. And that right person will be very comfortable here, I do believe. So 700 a month for this, it has the small refrigerator. Again, enough water and power for one person to live comfortably. And the toilet for this cabin is over here in the workshop. <laughs> this is my bike gear. This is the toilet for this cabin. Regular flush toilet. You don't have to do it. It's just it's got its own water system. And a little sink over here for washing your hands afterwards. And that's all from gravity flow from this tank there feeds the toilet and the sink so there you go You've got a toilet it's outside yes but it's very nearby to the cabin and if you're interested in one or both of these cabins for long term let's talk about it you can contact me at whatkindtravel at gmail.com you'll see in the description and Let's talk about the details and hopefully we can come to some agreement. You can have rent one cabin or you can rent both cabins. So let's talk about it. You can see they're quite close together. So we have to, <laughs> we've got to get along. The one cabin's right here, the other cabin's right there. So, but it's a lovely piece of property. It'll be a great place to live for the right person. So, all right, y'all, aloha.